Hi, I'm Deb, and this is One More Whip. I hope today finds you well and with a hook in your hand. I, oh goodness, in the time that I wasn't posting videos on Facebook, I uh, I got my hands on a few things, and um, I just wanted to share them with you. Um, I won a couple giveaways. I bought some stuff. So, you want to check it out? Um, let's start with the giveaways. I was really excited about these because I don't win things. <laughs> I just don't. Um, last time I won something, I was a nine-year-old in Girl Scouts, and I won 10 pounds of hamburger. Not much of a prize for a nine-year-old girl. <laughs> so I was over um, spending some time with Jill over at Fiber Fuluzi Crafts, and I won a giveaway. And I cut the top off of it, just so that I wouldn't be doing that here with you. And let's see what's in it, shall we? I know what's in it, but I haven't seen it. I saw her show it, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I've got a couple Tootsie Rolls. I give my kids a Tootsie Roll bank every year for Christmas. My mom always gave us a Lifesaver storybook, and so I went with Tootsie Roll banks. That's <laughs> what I do. Um, I got some goodies in a little bag here. I got a couple stickers. Don't quit your daydream. And a little sloth, so cute. I got a strawberry tea. And I got Jill's card. And anytime I mention another channel or a pattern or um, like an Etsy shop where I made a purchase, I'll put all that information down below. I like I like knowing where people got stuff because if I like something I see, I won't be able to get one for me. You know what I mean? Um, so I got that. Thank you, Jill. Let's let's see the goods, shall we? I love tissue paper. It's just me, but I love it. So do my kids. It's just fun that extra layer of a surprise. Put it in my bag and everything. So Jill knit these. I have a scarf. Show it to you. It's a, yeah, it's a scarf. I'm going to put it on. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to go with what I'm wearing, but it's okay. And when it comes to beanies, I never know what to do with my hair. I feel like a big goof when I wear them, but I'm going to put it on for you just because I love y'all and I'm going to let you see me in it. So, it fits. I have a hard time finding a hat that fits because I got me a big noggin. I do. I love it. Oh, it's so yummy feeling. Thank you, Jill. I love it. Let me get this off and go to my next, my next thing. I'm hot, y'all. Getting older is not easy. I'm going to make sure I put it back in the bag and put it away because my cat will keep the plastic. He's an odd one, that's for sure. Okay, move on to my other win. I got, I was, then I went over to, I was watching Kim over at Yarning for a Smile and I won a pattern. How cute is that? It's super cute. So I'm going to be trying my hand. I've done, I did a cat and one of those little whales. So I'm going to be trying to spread my wings a little bit with the emigurumi. We'll see how that goes. I also went to, my hair, it's a lot, this. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby over the weekend when my husband and I went away. We had such a lovely time. We love going over into that area. I'm here with the top of my box. And I hit the end of their sale. And it was it was really well picked over. But I did get some more of this pinkalicious cotton. I got four more of those. I showed you this with my last haul. I was able to pick up two of the Sugar Wheel Cotton Solids in Overcast. 
And these are a three weight, five ounces, 335 yards. And I got the Woodland Wisp colorway. Same specs. Love those colors together. And that's all I got there. There were, oh goodness, probably five ladies in there with shopping carts like mounded over and falling down. <laughs> but it was mostly that chunky yarn and I'd already gotten what I wanted from it. So I wasn't sad about that at all. One thing I did find, it's gonna be, I've gotta lift it here. These. That, this thing is humongous. <laughs> it's huge. And it collapses flat. These were, I think, $7.50 a piece. Yeah, regularly $30. And I got these for Sis because she didn't have anywhere to put her yarn. But it's got a place for hooks and all kinds of stuff here. It's got some pockets. And I thought for $7.50... You can't beat that. You get to zip the top and the cats stay away. So this was a great find. I didn't see any other notions or bags or pouches or anything like this, but I was really happy to find this. Got the handles on it. Um, I'm gonna pause you for just one second. I forgot to grab something. Sorry about that. Then I got this a couple weeks ago. I was watching Jane over at Scraptastic Yarns and she saw this bag and I couldn't hit the button to get to her store fast. <laughs> I, I love all things honeybee and the gnomes are just a bonus, but I picked up this little project bag. Is that not the cutest thing ever? <laughs> and the inside is fantastic. And so right now I have one of my whips in here but it's a beautiful bag. It's super sturdy. It's got the flat bottom. I love it. I love this bag. Jane, love the bag. <laughs> I also, <laughs> I got so much stuff, guys. Um, I'm currently working on the Make Along with Dana. It's the Fruit Garden Cal. And I... I'm having to relearn some stuff. Um, I don't know how many of you like really pay attention to your stitches or how you work them, but I had to meet Gage in this project and I was really struggling. And I had to go down, like, I think it calls for a 5.5 millimeter and I had to just keep going down until I could make gauge and I'm working it in an e-hook and I, ha I was having to work it in the clover because the um, I, I needed just the straight shaft not the tapered Know what I mean? Not the one that gets bigger as it goes along. Um, I bought these hooks because the, the smaller clovers really do a number on my hands. So I got a couple hooks, guys, and I love them. I love them. So there's my D hook. I don't know if it's going to be if it's going to focus for me. There we go. And it's got my little bees on it. And then I got this one. There's my e-hook. And it's got flowers and butterflies. I tell you what, this polymer clay on the end just makes all the difference in the world for me. I love them. And the shop I bought them from will be in the, in the bottom. They're not cheap, but if it means I don't hurt, then they're worth every penny, right? Um, and then I got some books. So doing the fruit garden cow, um, you can get the pattern, but this book with the pictures and it just makes all the difference. Um, 
I am doing this colorway here and I'll show you my progress in my next video when I show you my whips. So I picked up this book. I also picked up Mandalas to crochet and it's got some really cool patterns. I just I didn't want to start on anything huge. You know what I mean? I that's not the way I wanted to start a mandala. I wanted to kind of figure some things out before I really jumped in. But there's 30 different patterns in here, different mandalas. Um, so I picked this book up. And because I'm going to try my hand at Amigurumi, I picked up these two. And I know other people have shown these books, but they're so cute. Look at this. Look at that. The little ladybug. How can you not love? <laughs> so I pick up these two books. Um, Anna, my girl, has already started work on this. Not following the pattern, just looked at the picture on the front. And she's figuring it out. So um let me see here. So these are the patterns in the book. So we've got those. And Look at the sheep. Oh my gosh, I can't even. They're just adorable. Fingers crossed I can get these done. You know? Oh, they're just darling. They're just darling. So, and there's lots of good information in these books. I looked at them and yeah, I, I tend to work better with words and pictures than tutorials. So I'm hoping this does the trick for me. And the last book I wanted to show you, I think this one was released on the 23rd of this month. And I follow her over on Instagram, Chris Norrington. Um, I believe her Instagram handle is Chris Made This. Um, and I just love what she does. So I saw that she was doing this book and um, I pre-ordered it. And... It's a sweet, sweet book. I, I'm sorry, I've got a hair in my eye, guys. Um, but it has, let me see if I can show you what we're working with here. So it has collages. And I thought these would be so sweet in like shadow boxes on a wall. They're just darling. So we have the Woodland Glade. And then she breaks it down with the flowers, the different things you work on to make that up. Um, she tells you what she used and all that good stuff. The next one is Spring Awakening. There it is. That's the next one. And... She goes through the motifs. The next one is Cottage Garden. Oops, excuse me. Look at that little hollyhock. Is that adorable or what? I love it. Then we have Vintage Blue Bouquet. How cute would this be in a blue kitchen? Some of that Polish pottery. I just think it's darling. Motif, the motifs for that one. Then we have Midsummer Daydream. I'm all blurry, guys. I'm sorry. And then, I mean, just making these separate pieces, like just putting them on just the little motifs to have as little embellishments on things. Flowers. 
flower meadow. What you shall find there. Terracotta pot. Love that one too. Can't tell if I'm getting it in the frame or not. Then we have Poppy Posy. I thought this would be really sweet for, um, oh goodness. I know what I'm thinking, but I can't remember the day. Um, where they hand out the poppies. Um, where the veterans hand out the poppies, you know, at the stores and things like that, to trade one of the crochet poppies with maybe a pin on the back for the paper poppies. How sweet would that be? Autumn wreath. It's funny, these leaves remind me of um, Nova over at Nova Gnome Creations is doing um, scrumbles for um, Nan's Next Knots, and those leaves reminded me of her latest scrumble. I'm sorry I'm blurry. It's trying to get in on that book. And here we have Midwinter Magic. I just love them. It, and the book is really beautifully done. There's, um, it's got the stitches. It's got pictures of flowers in it. It's a lovely book. I just, I'm really happy I got it. Just sweetly done. And I think that's pretty much all I've got for now. I think that's plenty. Um, all of my books I purchased off Amazon. Um, so I'm just going to go through Crochet Collage Garden by Chris Norrington. And then we have Amigurumi Treasures and Amigurumi Treasures 2. We have Mandalas to Crochet, 30 Patterns. And then we have the Jane Crow Foot, the Fruit Garden Crochet Blanket. And I will show you what I've gotten done so far in that in my next video. So I hope you guys have just, I don't know, maybe some of this has sparked, ooh, I don't know. I don't know, that's pretty cool. You never know what somebody's gonna love, right? So that's all I've got for you today. I hope today finds you busy in doing something you love or not busy doing something you love. <laughs> That's always great too. But do get some stitches in. It's good medicine. You guys have a great day. Bye.